Obviously, Australia welcoming any sort of help it can get. So for more on the American firefighters who are assisting in Australia, we're joined by Mark Naveau, former FEMA coordinator. You know a thing or two about organizing and, and getting crews to places where they're needed. The United States, Australia always helped each other out. Yeah. What's being requested this go round? Yeah, for about 15 years, United States, Australia, and New Zealand have gone back and forth in terms of mutual aid. As a matter of fact, last year, 2018, when the wildfires were going on, we had a number of firefighters from Australia who mm -hmm. helped. So we're returning that favor. There are about 70 different firefighters there, and really they're focusing on aviation operations and some of the hand crew work. The nice part about it is Australia and New Zealand operate in the same incident command system that California does. So it's seamless in terms of being able to go over there and start making an impact and mm. helping. All right, what are the similarities that, that you know, potentially these firefighters can draw on between the, 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 the widespread wildfires we've seen here in California and, and what they are experiencing there in Australia right now? Yeah, you know what's ironic about this is the challenge they're having in Australia right now is the same thing we're having in California. They've had three years of drought. Right. In some of these areas, if you look at the map that's involved in Australia, superimposed on the United States, it's almost the entire United States that has fire burning, if you would, so mm -hmm. from one side to the other. So it's huge, 100 and I think 46 different fires, 65 of them are uncontained. A lot of it in a wildland urban interface. They have brush fires very frequently in Australia. That's not the issue so much, but what they're finding out is climate change. Temperatures have risen. They're trying. There are areas that have never burned in Australia mm -hmm. that are on fire now. So we're seeing the same impact. They've had a three year of drought, much like California. The only difference might be is the number of trees that have died in California that have not necessarily died over there. But it's a huge, huge issue right now. This is a big incident. No, it certainly is in the devastation and, and also the number of deaths that we're seeing. Yeah, sure. When you talk about, though, the American firefighters who are going to help, it's not just from California. No, no. Uh, the majority are, but it's federal government. It's United States Forest Service. It's a bureau, uh, Department of Interior, Bureau of Land, uh, Indian Affairs. So it's a number of different. And that coordination actually comes from Boise, Idaho, an, area, uh, an agency called the National Inter agency fire council and the United States is known throughout the world for being able to move forces in peacetime anywhere else in other words they're very efficient at it mm -hmm. because it comes from the wildfires in, in California so this national inter interagency fire center is the one that actually coordinates that movement and there are representatives from FEMA you know Department of Interior Forest Service except all sit in a group making decisions about what resources are going I would be surprised if they didn't ask for more. I yeah. think that request yeah. will become Especially soon. because this looks to be a very long firefight. It, it could be months until Absolutely. all these fires are Absolutely. out. Absolutely, without question. And it was interesting, they're hanging signs on the outside of some of the homes mm. that's to indicate that if they have a water source at that house, to please let the firefighters yeah. know. Wow, all right. okay. Well, former uh, FEMA coordinator Mark Nouveau, always appreciate your insight. Yes, thank Thanks you very much.